Hi everyone, I know it's been a minute. As you guys can see, this is a Timu haul uh, by the description um, on the video. But anyway, I am here. Um, it's been a very long day, so I'm gonna try to get through this really quick. The work has just been very crazy, very chaotic, and I'm quite frankly, I'm just exhausted at the end of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I um, got from Timu this time around. And it's a combination of a lot of crafty, different, various stuff, paper crafts mainly. But I wanted to go ahead and show you. This is some paper that I got sent. And basically the way it worked this time was I had picked out a few things like the robot that I had shown you before. And a few things like the tea infuser. This here, guys. This is awesome. I did try it. So FYI on that. And I'll link it below again, but it was in my last haul and I'm about to make some tea again tonight. So I'm going to use it, but um, it's awesome and I do recommend it. And this is the way it opens. So you load it with the loose leaf tea and you close it up and you dip it into the um, cup. So yeah. But anyway, um, this is the paper that I received and what I had, uh, what I had told her was, um, I know that I didn't make it to the full amount. Just send me what you think or whatever you'd like me to review. So that is kind of what she did. She sent me some really pretty paper and I'm excited about it. Very pretty. Um, I think these papers would work really well in uh, journaling, like junk journaling. That's really pretty, like even field guides type thing, you know, like those books that you um, can use, just like notebooks and stuff. I think it'll be really cool for that or even traveling, whatever journals that you like to do, but I think it would also make a really pretty card. So this one's kind of almost like, um, it's almost, it almost looks like it's a tea stained paper. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Those birds are really pretty. But yeah, that is the paper that she sent me. And then she also sent me some plaid looking paper, uh, more Christmassy looking, and I'm definitely going to use it for Christmas. But you can also use it for like, this one would look cute with like a farm theme, uh, something like that. This could have maybe even worked for Valentine's Day, but it's just kind of a combination of a bunch of plaids. Um, and they're one-sided, so the other side's white. And these are all six by six. And I do like that, that size just because it's just easier to work with as far as like when you're making cards and stuff. And... Um, also just easier to die cut. Here's some more floral in this mess. I think this might have made it into the wrong pack because I think this came with the paper. I had already opened it before. It's not pretty. So I believe this is, comes from the, um, the other paper pack. The plaid should just be plaid basics. So yeah, and I'll go ahead and list these below for you guys, um, the links. So I'll, I'll try to link as much as I can. And the thing with Timu is, um, if you see a link and it says that it's not available, you can always have it set up to notify you when it becomes available. And if they get it back, they'll go ahead and let you know um, through the app that it's available. So keep that in mind too, guys. Um, the other thing that I did get that um, she went ahead and sent me and I'm excited about because it's just right up my alley are these washi. I'm going to open them so you guys can see them. Super cool. They look like Starbucks drinks, but um, they're washi stickers. So they're made up. That's what they look like in the back. They're made up to look like washi tape, like the, the material of washi tape, um, but they are stickers. So obviously this one's more like a coffee theme and I'm all for it. I love it. This one would have worked really well for Valentine's Day. So there's iced coffees here, mochas, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, here's that, coffee presses, all kinds of neat stuff. But I'm excited about these. I can use these in my planners and my even cute little um, memdexes and stuff. So yeah. And then I got, she sent me some more of those washi um washi stickers this one's more like um kind of general more like home type stuff like books and chairs and furniture not exactly sure what i'm gonna use these for but i will find something 
to do with these. I know it. And if not, I can always pass them along. But yeah. Very, very cool. Look at the old telephone. The old rotary telephone. Very cool. Hourglass. Some people like to collect those. And then just kind of funny like shoes and just weird different things. But I think I like unique. I think I'll be able to use some of these. So yeah, and then um, I got one more. This one's kind of Southwestern. Then I'll show you guys some dyes that I got and also some other embellishments and blings that I ordered myself. Well, I didn't order myself. I asked, I asked for them and they sent them to me. But yes, this is Southwestern. This reminds me a lot of New Mexico where I'm originally from. It's up in the Santa Fe area, Albuquerque area. Um, they have a lot of markets, places in the stores and lining on the streets. And a lot of this decorative stuff is sold there. And my parents, their house, that's kind of the way they decorated. So some of these are really pretty. The floral with the feathers. I love it. So those are really pretty. And thank you, Timu, for that. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys more stuff. This one I was really super excited about. I did ask for this. This is uh, basically a card for, like, Slimline. And this would be um, the front of the card. And as you can see, it's going to emboss it really nicely. And then, of course, this is, like, the um, outside border that you can use. So that'll make a really pretty Slimline card. I'm excited about that. Um, you could also just still emboss it with that and use, you know, just put it on paper and you make it on a normal card just to, just the edging, like maybe along one side of the card. So yeah, you can use this for a lot of uses. Cut it in half, use it on part of a Memdex or something or an ATC. Um, another die cut I wanted to share with you guys is this cool one and I did I went ahead and made a card out of it it's this little heart one here that and what I did with that is I created this card so it cuts out here like that and it creates that border on the card and then whatever was left I put here I put it together I stacked it together and, and then I put it on top of another heart and I just decorated the front of the card. So yeah, so I had fun with that. And um, the inside hasn't been, I didn't put anything on it, but that kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with these cute little border cards. The, I'm sorry, border dies. Like they have various ones on in Timu, like roses and that sort of thing or stars or whatever. But that kind of gives you an idea of what that looks like when you use border dies. When we, when we say border dies, that's what we're talking about. And um, I do happen to have one. And um, this is going to be a giveaway at the end of the video. Um, I will have you guys give me a secret code. And um, if you want to be in the giveaway, I can mail this to you. So there's that because I did get an extra one that was sent to me by Timu. And I, I don't have any really use for another one, a second one. Um, so I'm going to keep this one and this one will be a giveaway. So FYI on that, guys. I'll let you know what to do with that in a little bit. And then um, the other things that I got were some blingy blings. I'm excited about these. Um, she's just like multicolored uh, flat back pearls, just kind of different colors. And I can I can never have enough of these. I mean, I'm always using these for different things, cards, um, and ATCs and MDEX, memdex. I mean, you you can use these for even nail art, like on the you know some of the smaller ones. So yeah, and then I got one that's just um, your solid, normal pearl back, just the normal uh, pearl looking color. And I like that you get like different sizes. So, you know, we'll work your way from teeny tiny all the way to the big. And I also like to use these, like when I make the little flowers, like the, cut, the die cut flowers, and I'll put these in the middle um, of the flower. So that's the other way that I use these. And then um, these were sent to me as extra 
um, I believe I had ordered, what I had ordered was this one, and she threw in the multicolored one, and she threw in um, these blingy bling diamonds. So really, I, I'm excited about that. I used a lot of these, this style for Christmas. So there's that, guys. And I guess Rocky wants in. It's been really cold here. Even though we're in Phoenix, it's been kind of like cold all week long. Technically, I'm not Phoenix. It's like a suburb of Phoenix, but it gives you an idea. Arizona's warm, um, even in up north, and it's been really, really cold. So there's that, guys. And then I'm going to show you guys a couple more. And, well... Since you guys already see it out of the corner there, I'm going to go ahead and show you these. These are leaves, leaf die cuts. And I think these will come in handy um, for, especially in the summer, like these really cool tropical ones. I think I had mentioned before that I have, and then this won't be nice for fall. Um, I'd mentioned before that I have a lot of flamingos and sloths and different animals and that sort of thing. So I think these will come in handy. And then look at how pretty they, they cut very well. Um, I, then the other thing that you can always do with these is you can color them in on the inside, like um, watercolor them or whatever, just to kind of add a little bit of color so it's not just one solid color. You can do a lot of really cool things with dyes. So yeah, there's that, guys. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you really quickly this other one. And then we're going to go ahead and... I'll let you guys know what the giveaway is. I also got this die cut here with stars. Isn't that beautiful? I'm looking forward to this. Um, I have a sister who really likes stars, so I'm looking forward to this. I think this will make a really, really pretty card. Um, I can see it for Christmas as well. I also have a gorgeous girl that holds stars in her, a star in her hand, and I'm thinking this would make a really good background for her as well. So yeah. But anyway, guys, for the giveaway, I'd like you to uh, just put hashtag heart, H-E-A-R-T. doesn't matter if it's lowercase or uppercase or whatever, or all caps, whatever. As long as you put hashtag heart in your comment below, um, I will um, add you to a giveaway. Just kind of a, just um, add you to the list and do a giveaway, a random giveaway that way. Um, and this is not connected to Timu in any way. It's just something that I've chosen to do with the items that I got from them. So that'll be the giveaway. It's not affiliated with YouTube, nothing like that. You do have to be a subscriber to my channel. And I'm getting very close to 500, guys. So if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe now. I'd really appreciate it. We do a lot of hauls and different crafty things around here. And I also do a lot of coloring for my therapy. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, but anyway, um, that is my Timu haul other than a few other things that I'd like to share with you guys at a later time because I do need to uh, deal with the doggos there. But um, definitely check out everyone else has been doing these Timu hauls because they're awesome and everyone's different as well because everyone's shopping differently and it doesn't matter how many times you go on Timu, you find different things. And I do apologize if it's supposed to be Temu or team I've heard it pronounced different ways but um, I call it timu.com and I will put link the link it below and there is a 30% discount for first time um, buyers if they you know create an app with them and that sort of thing my discount is listed below as well so I'll talk to you guys soon and thank you for watching bye bye don't forget to um, sign up for the giveaway bye